Your line. Calls and webinars are recorded for stakeholder convenience, allowing those who are unable to attend to the listen to the recordings after the meetings. The recordings will be publicly available on the ISO webpage for a limited time following the meetings. The recordings and any related transcriptions should not be reprinted without the ISO's permission. We have a similar agenda as the last meeting. Uh, we go through the map stage availability, known issues for ADS, then a couple of ADS update changes if somebody had missed in the last meetings, and then ADS replacement transition updates. We'll talk about independent 2020 release structured scenario registration details, initiatives and timelines, and then we'll talk about separate initiatives in, inside the independent 2020 release. And then we'll talk about next steps. You can always go to portalmap.kaiso.com to verify the map stage availability for that day. Uh, upcoming maintenance we have is the, the map stage maintenance for ADS UI API closure was going to be on Friday 9:25. Now it's till Monday, till today 9:28. Uh, tentatively, CMRI UI API will also be not available from today till 2nd of October. In stage, the ADS UI API will have brief interruptions for today. Any questions on the availability? Hey, Ashman Vipul here from Edison. Hi, Vipul. Uh, no uh, outage for DRS UI API, right? Yes, no outage for DRS UI API. All right, thank you. Any more questions on this? All right, moving on. We didn't have any updates for the known issues for ADS. Uh, it's similar to last time. Uh, we are expecting some fixes to go in today for the first three of them. And we will try to uh, port over the profiles from one environment of ADS to another environment, like to production. Uh, we don't. We are not going to provide the ability to do that multiple times since it's not going to be used. Uh, but we will help the entities to port their profiles over to production to make it the make the transition easier. We have a couple of roadmap items uh, for number six and number seven, and then the last one: column sector availability intermittent. We we had some network changes, so please go ahead and retest that variant. Moving on. There are some of the updates that came in for ADS. The, we're going to change the FMM AS and the FMM AS column, and the checkbox must filter only. The checkbox must filter only the operating reserve. These are the two proposed changes that we're going to implement. And it is ready for market save environment for today. Replacement transition for ADS. The production deployment date for ADS is October 1st. We'll have more details on the 29th third meeting. You can expect it to be backward compatible to the Delphi client and V6 APIs. Target time is between 9 to 11 a.m. PTT when we deploy. Planning for minimum downtime, maybe 10 minutes. The user interface will disconnect and then automatically reconnect. Data will be retained as it is today. Please go ahead and join the bridge during the time of deployment. And the parallel operations will be extended to 16th of October in stage. ISO operations will start using the new client and will keep the Delphi client available if needed. Enhancements that require different operator actions under the new client will be disabled until everyone has transitioned to the new client. During this time, existing procedures will be utilized, which include uh, the new functionality includes DOTT, unannounced AS test, and RTCD commitment. 
these enhancements will continue to be tested in MapStage environment. Uh, this is a cut over activities at a glance. Just as a reminder that we can have on 10.1, the new code will be available on the production for ADS and AP, ADS UI and API. Uh, the Delphi client will still be available and will have parallel operations for ADS client available, available on stage also till 16th of October. There's a hard cut over date for 4th of November uh, for map stage and stage where hard cut over for current ADS Delphi client. And for production, we have the hard cut over on 1st of February. Any questions on these ADS replacement cutover guidelines? Okay, moving on. Let's talk about independent 2020 releases. Hey, Anshuman, this is uh, Isaac from SC. Sorry, I, I made it a little bit late. Go ahead, Isaac. Hi, uh, just a couple of questions, clarifying questions about the uh, ADS replacement transition. Um, so the profiles that we have asked uh, Kaisto to port over to production, uh, we, are we expecting those profiles to be uh, available on the first, by the 1st of October when, uh, when we go to production? And the second follow-up question is um, uh, there was an issue with uh, uh, the audio and, alert, uh, and pop-up messages not not, uh, I guess, transferring to, to, to the profiles. Um, I think that fix is supposed to be in sometime today. So on the profiles that you'll be porting from stage to production, uh, if, if I understand it correct, that both the, um, the advanced filtering layout as well as the audio profiles will be ported over? Is there anybody from Kaiso? SME who can answer this question? Isaac, let me get back to you on this. I will talk over with my SME and we'll get back to you. Sounds good. Uh, and the second can you give question me the, I have. Can you, mm, go ahead. Sorry. Can you give me the CD numbers for me to track it? Sure. Uh, I will go ahead and email you to see the a number. Sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, second question I have is on the remaining issues that we have with the um, the AS test and the RTCD um, commitment scenarios. I uh, understand that you will be coordinating with us in regards to further testing in that stage. Is that correct? And if so, uh, do you have any idea on when that may take place? Uh, I don't have an idea yet. Uh, could you send me an email on that one and we can schedule something? Okay, we'll do that. All right. Any other questions on the ADS cutover activities? All right. Let's move on to the independent 2020 release. You can send your registration request to marketteam at kaiso.com. Date of registration is by tomorrow. And we'll do our best to accommodate for late registration because we just gave you the date last week. Um, so please go ahead and you know feel free to send us uh, your registration details for that. Uh, we have a few changes for the project start dates for market simulation for independent 2020 release. As you can see, the Oiso Canyon Phase 5 and FRP improvements, the start date is starting from 13th of October for Oiso Canyon and 6th of October for FRP improvements, buffer and min. We don't have a trade date or when we're going to perform the structured scenarios. These details will be provided in the next call. Also, the intertide deviation settlement and symmetrical wheeling start date is 6th of October. Any question on these releases start date? For nodal pricing model project, we have the structured similar start date of 27th of October. That has been decided as of now. 
right, moving on. The Alistair Canyon Phase 5 timeline October 13 to October 28. The BRS requirements are available on the following link. FRP improvements, buffer and min, October 6 to October 24th. So structured scenarios documents are available on the following link. Hey, Ashman, can and you I, go back? This is Chen Yu. Um, sorry, I, I unmute. I'm not in time to ask the question. Can you go back oh, sorry. one more page? Yeah. Oh, sorry. This one? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, no, one more. Which is the, the timeline, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to see that. Is it enterprise deviation? You have it as red. I thought that initially it is starting on October 6th. Is that, is that not? Well, is that a new, new, new date? Yeah, yeah hi. Yeah. A new day. Thanks, Tenyu, for the question. Um, so uh, that is correct. So to clarify, Aliso Canyon and FRP, the markets and windows have changed. Both of those were planned to start tomorrow, and we have since um, uh, provided the new dates based on where we are with those initiatives. We did want to bring to the attention that while IDS and symmetrical wheeling we are targeted within that same market sim to align with the nodal pricing model due to the shared settlement code. Um, those two um, projects that are highlighted are experiencing um, some delays, and uh, we wanted to raise the attention here that these, uh, while these are scheduled for the six, those dates are at risk for the startup market simulation, and so we wanted to raise that here, but then uh, um, so that uh, customers would know that we would provide um, further details on the schedule um, when we have more information, but we don't have a new date yet, um, which is... Uh, um, Yes, uh, we'll communicate at a later time. We actually have um, um, a, a call today to discuss that, and then we hope to provide an update on Thursday's call. Thank so, you, Trent, so thank for the you. update. Thank you. Um, thank you, Ashman, and thank you, Trent. I do have a, as this for settlement, Q4 winter release, is it just a re regular quarterly release, right? Is not. Yeah, that is. It's not something that we have to just need to know what what we need to pay attention in there. No, that, that's a great question. So um, norm, uh, we don't normally call this out separately as a market sim item, but we wanted to align our communication in the market sim call with what you see in the settlement user group. So. This is the normal settlement um, quarterly release um, that includes nodal pricing model um, IDS and symmetrical wheeling, and the um, settlements team has published um, their contents and their technical documentation already and um, have been providing updates in the settlement user group for that. So, um, yeah, nothing different about it besides the fact that we, we just called it out separately as a, another line item here for visibility. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All right, thank you. Any or any other questions regarding the timelines? Please use star six to unmute yourself or spacebar. All right, thank you, moving on. So energy imbalance market enhancement 2020, timeline is October 5th to October 21, and the unstructured scenarios document and a guide are available at the following location. Hybrid resources phase one, timeline October 26 to November 13. Uh, we don't have en enough information about the structured scenarios for this particular project yet. We are working on that and we'll let you know as soon as we have more information available. Commitment cost and default energy bid enhancements. Timeline started with fall release July 27th and we're gonna continue testing for it till November 24th. Training documents are available at the following location. Nodal pricing model, timeline for it is October 6th to November 13th, and structured scenarios will be performed on October 27th. The structured scenario documents are available at the following location. 
intertide deviation settlement. The timeline is October 6th, updated one to number 13th. The structured scenario documents are available at the following location. Symmetrical wheeling timeline is the same as the other projects, October 6th till number 13th. Yeah, and, and Simran, if I could give a quick update on symmetrical wheeling as well. Go ahead, um, So we did talk about this um, on Thursday's market sim call, and we will have um, the information in the next rug for um, next Tuesday. Um, and then just to, again, uh, remind folks um, and clarify some questions that came up um, on last uh, market sim call on Thursday. So, again, symmetrical wheeling is um, EI is uh, – part of EIM 2020 enhancements, and it, we do plan on having a separate BRS for um, this uh, initiative that is planned to publish by the end of this week. So um, before the next RUG, um, you should have a, you should be able to refer to a BRS for this, um, as well as get more information on, on the next RUG on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Thank you, Trang. Settlement Q4 winter release. All the tec technical documents are available uh, from 9:14, the second draft. The third draft is going to be released on 2nd of October. Uh, map stage deployment is 6th of October. Connectivity for PAC is from 13th of October to 21st of October. And the structured scenarios will be deployed on 27th of October to actually tested on 27th of October to 4th of November. And the draft settlements technical documentation are available at the following location below. Anybody from Kaiser site want to add more information for settlements Q4 winter release? All right, moving on. This is all we have for today. Uh, we'll have the next meeting. Actually, it's Thursday uh, on October 1st. Uh, this is wrong date. Any questions from market participant side? Hi, Ashman. This is Trending again. Um, it's possible for you to post this presentation uh, on the Kaiser side today, or is that um, – if not, then do you mind to send me this document? Andrew, you might be on mute. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on mute. <laughs> uh, yes, Junior, uh, we will post it today, uh, and you should be able to get the previous uh, meetings PPT on the website right now, which is available. And I will also send this via email. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions for this uh, release? All right. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you back on October 1st at 2 p.m. Okay. I apologize for the last slide being a little bit wrong, uh, but see you then.